Manavala Mamanagal was a Hindu Sri Vaishnava religious leader, who during the 15th century in Tamil Nadu, with the help of his eight disciples helped spread Sri Vaishnavism. The disciples of Mamanagal established places of learning to teach Sri Vaishnavite Vishishtadvaita philosophy in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> Birth and early life Manavala Mamanagal was born in 1370 at Alwar Thirunajiri in Tamil Nadu. His parents were Tigazha Kidanthan Tiranavirudaya Piran Tadar Anur and Saranga Nachiyar. His father was the son-in-law and also a disciple of Kalakavala Dasar, a junior disciple of Pillai Lokacharya. His parents named him as Zagiya Manavala Purumal Nayanar beautiful groom after Ranganathan of Sarangam. Mamanagal was schooled by father and maternal grandfather, who taught him the Vedas, Vedanta and the Divya Prabhandam. He married at the age of 16 and moved from Sikkal Kadaram to Asvar Thirunagari to become the disciple of the Acharya Thiruvamoja Pillai. Thiruvamoja Pillai was instrumental in reviving the Archa Thirumeni idol of Ramanuja at Asvar Thirunagari and in building a temple for him. He put the young Mamanagal in charge of the temple and gave him the title of Yathandra Pravana in recognition of his devotion to Ramanuja. It was around this time that Mamanagal wrote Yathiraja Vimsati, which is considered to epitomize the very essence of the exalted Iramanusa <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Journey towards Sarangam On his deathbed, Thiruvamoja Pillai instructed Mamanagal to learn and propagate the Sri Basya and to spend most of his time in propagating and preaching the Arulakale of the Asvars. He also asked Mamanagal to stay at Sarangam and perform service to Ranganatha as his predecessors had done. Mamanagal was inconsolable on the death of his master. He immersed himself completely into studying and delivering discourses on Divya Prabhandam and Rahasyas. Word of his abilities spread and he gained various disciples. Prominent among them was Sri Azagiya Varadar who undertook Sannyasashrama asceticism from Azagiya Manavalan. The Sannyasa name was given as Ramanuja Gr, also known as Panatakal Gr. Thus began the most illustrious Gr Mutt in the Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, the Vanamamalai Mutt, that continues the great unbroken lineage of Acharyas to this day. Intending to fulfill the wishes of his Acharya, Mamanagal and his disciples left for Sarangam, spending some time at Srivalipudar, the birthplace of Andal, on their journey. <laughs> Life at Sarangam and visit to Kanchipuram Sarangam at that point was facing the worst consequences of the Muslim invasion that took place in the early 14th century. It was structurally dilapidated, sacramentally bare, intellectually barren and spiritually, socially and morally corrupt. Misuse of rights, corruption and disorder were rampant. Nayanar had to exert tremendous effort and bring to force his divinely inspired organizational skills to restore the original pristine glory for daily sacramental and festival procedures at Sri Rangam, without antagonizing the people who were functioning in different capacities at that point in time. He realized the importance of bringing the focus back to the essential tenets of Sri Vaishnavam and achieved this objective by bringing to force scholarly works of acharyas that had hitherto been pushed into the background. As a matter of natural consequence stemming from his commitment, devotion, erudition Nayanar was put in charge of everyday temple administration as well as anointed the leader for all Sri Vaishnavas of his time. With normalcy returning to Sarangam, Nayanar set on a pilgrimage to Kanchipuram, Tirumalai and Sriparumbador, after seeking permission from Lord Ranganatha. Nayanar paid his obeisance to Lord Srinivasa at Tirumala and reached Kanchipuram. At the request of his disciples to glorify the Lord of Kanchi, he composed Divaraha Mangalam, which praises the glory of Lord Varadaraha in thirteen sweet verses. At Sriparambador, Nayanar worshipped Swami Ramanuja and sought his blessings to formally study Sri Basya under an Acharya. Ramanuja directed him to Kadambi Nayanar, a descendant of Kadambi Akan. Nayanar exhibited his erudition and scholarship by grasping the intricacies of Sri Basya deftly and then simultaneously expounding it to other disciples. The discourse took place at Yathathkari temple at Tiraveka, where his idol is seen showing the Vyakhyana mudra symbolizing spread of knowledge to commemorate this event. After visiting several other holy places, Nayanar returned to Sarangam to fully manage the temple affairs. 
He undertook sannyasashrama asceticism from Sri Sadagopa Jr of Aswar Thirunagari who was his classmate earlier at Sarangam to fully involve himself in service to Sri Vaishnavism. It was during this time he received the beautiful appellation Azagya Manavala Mamuni from Lord Ranganatha. Swami Mamanagal's divinely inspired brilliance, compassion and commitment endeared him to one and all. At this point of time, some of the prominent scholars namely Koil Kanthadai Anan, Prathavadi Bayankaram Anna, Arumbi Appaa from Arumbi, a village near Sholinghar, Appalai came and became his disciples. Philosophical works and commentaries Manavala Mamanigal continued to live in Sarangam and involved himself completely in writing commentaries for works of Pillai Lokacharya. He wrote elaborate commentaries for three of Pillai Lokacharya's Rahasya Granthas namely Mumukshupadi, Sri Vachana Bhushanam and Thadvathrayam. He also wrote commentaries on the works of Swami Arulalap Purumal Emparamanar, Jnana Saram and Pramaya Saram. He also blessed us with his commentaries on some decads of Pariyajwar Thirumosi for which the original commentaries of Pariyavakan Pillai were supposed to be lost. In addition, he provided the gist of Namalvar's Thiruvamazi in the form of poetic verses tuned in the Anhadi meter in his magnum opus Thiruvamazi Nutranhadi. Mamanagal extolled the greatness of the Aswars and the Acharyas who wrote commentaries on Thiruvamazi in his Upadisa Rathina Malai or the gem-studded garland of instructions. His swan song, Arthi Prabandham, a work composed out of utter despair at having to live in this material world, bears resemblance in part to his earlier Sanskrit work titled Yatiraja Vimsati. After some time he returned to Alvar Tiranagari and started to write commentaries for Acharya Harudayam. This is a seminal work written by Azagya Manavalapurumal Nayanar Pillai Lokacharya's brother, which lays bare the philosophy and basic tenets of Sri Vaishnavism with words chosen from Namalvar's Thiruvamazi. The text was written completely in Manapravalam and when trying to teach Acharya Harudayam, Mamanagal encountered some difficulties. So he decided to consult with Ayi Jananyacharya Swami, who was a co-disciple of Tiruvimazi Pillai. Ayi was on his way to Alvar Tiranagari to meet Manavalamamuni. They both met at the outskirts of Alvar Tiranagari and returned to Manavala Mamani's residence, and the latter studied the secrets of the Acharya Harudayam. Classification of literary work Manavala Mamanagal wrote 19 books known as Grantha. Three of these were in Sanskrit and the rest in Tamil language and Manapravalam. Commentaries Sri Vachana Bhushanam Mumukshopadi Tadvathrayam Acharya Harudayam Nana Saram Pramaya Saram Pariyajwar Thirumosi Ramanuja Nutranadi Bhavagad Gita known as Gita Tatparyadipika Kanshi Sri Bhayankaram Anangaracharayar Swami lists this commentary in his Sri Manavala Mamanagal Vaibhavam book 1971 as a work of Swami Manavala Mamanagal but also says it is lost forever. Topic Pramana Tharatu Eedu Sri Vachana Bhushanam Tadvathrayam Topic Independent works Upadisa Rathna Maalai Thiruvamazi Nutranthadi Iyal Sathu Thiravaradana Kramam known as Gr Paddy or Nidiyam Yathiraja Vimsathi Divaraha Mangalam Shri Kanshi Devaparumal Stothram Arthi Prabandham Independent quatrains on the Vishnu temples of Kanchipuram, the various sanctums of the Kanshi Varadaraha temple and the Vishnu temples around the birthplace of Namajwar, Aswar Tiranagari. It is said that, while at a very old age, Manavala Mamuni discovered that part of Pariyavachan Pillai's commentary on Pariyalvar Tirumazi was missing. So he duly restored the lost portion of the commentary. It is also noted that he composed the commentary on Acharya Hrd Iyam with great difficulty as his health was failing. When he became very ill, preventing him from worshipping at the temple, he dedicated one Tamil stanza a day, expressing to Ramanuja his anguish at staying in this world and his eagerness to reach Vakantham. These collected verses became known as Ardi Prabantham, his last work. 
Topic: <laughs> Various names and titles of Sri Manavala Mamuni. Sri Manavalamamuni is also known as Varavaramuni, Somyahamatramuni, Ramyahamatramuni, Somyapayanthramuni, Sundarajamatramuni, Periyajir, Yathaandrapravanar etc. He is known as Vichatavak Shakamani, one endowed with striking precision and depth and clarity in utterances. <laughs> Deep and permanent influence over day-to-day -day religious observances Sri Manavala Mamani's devotional practices towards the Lord, especially the presiding deity of Sarangam, and the lineage of teachers like Ramanuja left an indelible influence on followers numbering several millions throughout India. His influence can be traced to everyday observances till this date. But he was so self effacing of that few recognize his deep influence. His disciples His eight famous disciples are known as Ashtadigahas elephants of the eight directions, they were, Vanamaamalai Gr, Paravisthu Bhadar Piran Gr, Tiravangada Gr, Koil Kanhaadai Anan, Prathivadi Bhayankara Manangaracharya, Arumbi Appaa, Apilai and Apilan. Prathivadi Bhayankara Manangaracharyas, Shri Venkataswara Suprabatham, is widely known. In that work and in the connected Prapati and Mangala Stotras he says, Somyapayan Thrumanina Mama Darsithautha. Srimat Sundara Jamathru Munimanasa Vasin, referring to the Lord of the Seven Hills as residing in the heart of Sri Manavala Mamuni. The teacher disciple tradition has been followed for over six centuries and exists intact today amongst 74 Simhasana Adipathis. References Topic. External links Manavala Mamanagal Sabha Photos of Sri Manavala Mamanagal, from DivyatasamOnline.com Manavala Mamanagal Life History and Works, from Acharya.org Sri Manavala Mamanagal Srivaishnava.org